if folks, entrepreneurs, can get these three questions correct, they can really achieve anything they want to achieve. So welcome to On Fire Fridays. I'm Ron Parisi with uh, CPA On Fire. Every Friday, we reach out to the community. We have a monster 90,000 page tax code. We have all kinds of accounting concepts. And my role and my expertise, what I call unique ability, is I'm able to synthesize, take all this complex information, try to really bring it to you guys. You're so busy running around wearing a lot of different roles in the company, try to synthesize it, give you the salient points. You guys can digest it, make great business decisions and move on. And today was, was going to be more like a higher level kind of thinking. If you can answer these three questions, you can pretty much achieve anything you want to achieve. What's really interesting about this topic is what I've seen is just areas where they're not very sexy. They're not very exciting necessarily, but people who are very good at certain particularly professional type, you know, jobs and roles, and they get really deep into whether it's nursing, whether it's writing or, or something like that, they get really deep and they're able to produce some sale of a product to the market. Like, I think the first question you have to ask is, what are you good at? What have, has come easy to you in your life? No matter what it is. And you really got to sit with this and you got to think about, and I'll just use myself as an example. I'm, obviously, I'm a CPA, I'm a former attorney. I'm used to doing like big, complex things. And I've just noticed that I'm able to deliver that to my clients in an understandable fashion to allow them to run their business very successfully. And then the second question is, okay, now that you figured out what you're good at, what comes easy to you, what is your unique skill sets? How do I commoditize that? So is that an informational product? Is that some type of coaching? Is that maybe something that you can be creative and you can make and you can deliver? Where are there opportunities out there in the economy for your product, right? I mean, the gamut of people who have been successful, whether that's informational products, Maybe this is a, a digital marketing company where they have uh, a very niche play. This is somebody being a brewmaster, microbrewery, and being able to deliver, not necessarily like the hard, open up a brewery, but they've been able to supply that market space with a very unique tools uh, and skill and services. Uh, so the first is, okay, what, are, what comes easy to me? What, come, what do I know pretty well? What can I uh, sort of understand that they, the typical person in that industry, maybe you are better at, maybe things come easier. We're all given God-given skills. How do I commoditize that? Like what kind of product, what kind of service can I deliver? What mechanism can I deliver that to? And then the big thing that kind of where we come in uh, as well is like, how do you spend as much time in that area as possible? So if you're very good at a certain thing, Maybe you're not good at bookkeeping. I'll just use us, for example. You're not good at bookkeeping. You're not good at tax. Or maybe you're not good at writing content. Maybe you're not good at understanding all the different facets of the social media platforms. Get your skill set, commoditize, and then as fast as possible, get those things that are not within your unique skill sets that doesn't serve you. Get them off your plate and bring a team in as soon as possible, as soon as you can absolutely afford it. And this is sort of the, the formula for success that I've seen time and time again. People come to the marketplace, they understand what their value is, their value to this world, what kind of impact, where are they really good at? Okay, can I make a product or service out of this? And then lastly, okay, I just wanna spend as much time in this one narrow area as possible and everything that it takes to run a business, whether that's hiring people, that's bookkeeping and tax, whether that's um, some type of marketing activities, I want to hire out and I want to give those obligations or to-do items off my plate so I can stay in my area of expertise. So uh, we'll dive in more over time on those three concepts, but really had some time uh, over the last couple of weeks uh, after, shortly after tax season, but doing tax season, like as I touched uh, and spoke with a lot of my clients, during the tax season, really synthesized to me like, okay, if folks, entrepreneurs can get these three questions correct, 
they can really achieve anything they want to achieve. So again, just to recap, right? Knowing what you're, you're good at, knowing what comes easy to you, knowing what specific skills that you have, two, how to commoditize that, how to bring that to the marketplace. And then three is how do I sort of like, as soon as possible, I know as a, start, as a budding entrepreneur, you can't do it, but it takes time. But how do I stay in my swim lane of what I'm very good at for as long as possible and sort of help and build a team around me to support me uh, to build a great business? So once again, uh, Ron Parisi, always appreciate your time. Um, hopefully giving you some content that you can take and you can bring to the uh, marketplace, bring to your business and uh, just absolutely crush it. So thank you very much for your time and we'll catch up with you next Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern. Thanks, Tom.